Welcome back to another My Lure Box video. In this video, we're talking big flathead setups, the types of combos, the rods and reels, even some of the line classes that you want to use to get onto your big flathead fishing and to dial it in. I'm going to take you through in detail as much as I can on uh, how I like to fish for big flathead, especially casting lures in the shallows. I think you might get something out of this. I'd love to hear your insights as well. If there's a setup that you like to use or if you fish for flathead differently, in the comments, let me know what you're using and uh, why you like to use it. I'll be really interested to hear what you got to say. All right, let me just put, put you down here and then I can go through it. All right, perfect. So my favorite thing about flathead fishing, and it's been like this since I was a kid, is that even with the entry level gear, you're still in the game chasing big fish. It's not like, for example, jack fishing, where you need kind of high end or more specialized gear, line classes really make a difference, and you know, good lead length and all that sort of thing. With flathead fishing, even just getting started, you're a chance of a big fish, and uh, guys get the really big ones even on super light lines. So it's one of the beautiful things about flathead, chasing them on the flats especially, is that you can have a drag that's lighter and they can run off and carry on and you can enjoy a longer fight on the flats with really light line. The way that I've gone after these really big flathead that I've been chasing the last few seasons has been to fish with a fairly heavy setup, um, and I've used bait casting gear. And I hope I'm not making you seasick. There's boats starting to turn up this morning. Now we're copping a little bit of weight. So I've used bait casting setups. I'll show you just really quickly before we get into detail. Bait casting setups like that and I've used a lot of spinning outfits as well. And a whole variety of the spin gear that I've been using over the years has ranged from anything from like a, a three pound setup right the way up to 20 pound line, which you might think is overkill for flathead fishing, but uh, I'll talk to you why I do that in a second. But this is just like a seven foot two rod. It's like a two to five kilo setup. And it's got, I think that's a 1500 or a 2000 size reel. And that is perfect with like three to six pound line for casting little soft plastics and things around on the flats. And really effective with a longer rod, you can get nice big casts and it's fairly whippy up top. So you've got plenty of fight when, you, when you're fishing the the flats and the flatty takes off you've got plenty in your rod tip so that you're not going to you know pop the hooks on it it's nice and soft so the flathead turns and runs and you're not going to lose that fish so something like that for an entry level or fishing really light plastics is the way to go and even though I love fishing with my really, really big lures, chasing that glory fish, the giant flathead, especially in the shallows, you can get those big ones fishing like this with a two and three inch little soft plastic, no dramas at all. And a lot of the time in the flathead classic, it's those guys that are fishing with those smaller plastics that do really well. They get the numbers and they pull some big fish as well. So that's that little setup. And uh, I, I still run that. I've been fishing with it this morning with a little four inch paddle tail. But let me show you the sort of stuff that I've been using to get after these really big flathead. Now, if you haven't seen Giant Flathead in the Shallows, that's my latest DVD that's all, also been released as a digital download. I'll put that link in the description if you wanna get your hands on that. But that's got plenty of action, heaps of tips and loads of detail on how to go about chasing Giant Flathead in the Shallows, what lures to use and how to retrieve them. But I'm gonna try and stick to the details on the rod and reel combos in this video. So make sure you check that out if you haven't. All right. So if we talk about spinning rods for these really big flathead and fishing with bigger lures, I'll show you this setup. Now this is a, a crossfire lure, this is a surface lure, and it's a 195, almost 20 centimeter long surface lure. Look at the size of that, look at the size of the gauge of the hooks, the big assists, it's got a front swinging single on it. This is a much bigger setup for flathead than most people would have ever dreamt of, but these things have just fantastic, really effective, and just mind-blowing on the flats when you start to get onto some big fish on surface lures on the flats. It's, it's really addictive, exciting fishing. And you kind of need a little bit different setup to the little spinning outfit that I showed you just before to get, to get after these fish with these big, big surface lures. And 
This is the setup, one of the setups that I use. This is a trophy hunter rod by JML. It's a seven foot and it's a 10 to 16 pound. So like five to eight kilo rod. And again, a long rod. It's fairly soft in the tip, but it's got plenty of backbone once you get about, you know, two thirds or three quarters of the way down the blank, it really starts to stiffen up. And the reason why I like this setup seven foot gives me big casting distance a huge range and it can still handle these heavier lures these bigger lures means that i can fling these things way out across the flats and that makes a big difference when you're chasing big wary flathead they're, they're very wary stealth key on the flats that's why i love doing it in my kayak but being able to cast well away from where you are means you're a much better chance and you've got a, you know, a bigger, longer retrieve for those big fish to hone in on it, but you're not spooking them with your presence on the sand flats. So a softer tip, long rod's still important, but you need that strength in the rod to be able to throw it, especially these bigger lures. So I've got a 2000 size. This is just a Shimano X-Age. I've got Stratix and I love my Stratix as well. Um, but any 2000 size reel is fine. And with these heavier lures, I'll run like a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. You can run monofilament if you're running surface lures and you like having that leader sit up on the surface. But generally these really big lures, especially these ones, because I like to try and pull them down off the surface, these crossfire lures, fluorocarbon leader's great. And then anything from like a 14 to 20 pound braid, which if you're thinking about flathead fishing, that might be a lot, lot heavier, like I said, than what you're used to. But really it's just about insurance with that big heavy lure. And I've got swim baits and glide baits. These big crossfire surface lures, these float obviously, but if you're fishing with a heavy glide bait that sinks, and I've lost an S waiver this morning because of it, and you're fishing too light and you snap yourself off with these big casts, you might get a wind knot. Um, it's, it starts to hurt the hip pocket if you're starting to lose these lures. So the big flathead I've found aren't that shy with a big presentation like these big lures. So fishing a little bit heavier line isn't really an issue for me. I'm happy to do it so I've, I've got that insurance in case I get you know, a wind knot and would otherwise snap myself off with six pound. So that's just one example of one of the rods I've got. There's a range here, but generally I'm using rod setups that are about seven foot, seven foot two. Um, and look, there's guys that are really tuned into this style of fishing that are using even longer rods. And a big part of it is trying to get that casting distance. So it's just something to think about. Uh, this is a seven foot five, and it's a, a much lighter setup, but I'm using it to throw these slap sticks. These Silstar slapsticks rigged with a weedless hook at the front and a treble at the back. Um, these are just dynamite on the big flathead. Much bigger plastic than what most people would be throwing for flathead around the creeks and rivers and things like that. But these things have been made famous over the years. Throwing those on a much longer rod with, with something that's got, again, a soft tip so you can fight that flathead when it turns and runs and then a backbone in it. Uh, that's really the way you want to go if you're looking for a big flathead rod. That length is really important. The line that I've got on here, this is just 10 pound, and when you're throwing these slap sticks, they're a lot lighter, um, especially because I fish them unweighted, so a lighter braid allows me to get that huge distance. And with the wind behind me, if I'm throwing wind assisted casts, then I can get 40 or 50 meters, no dramas, with this unweighted plastic on a seven foot rod seven foot five rod so uh, that's another option and I would say that you know if you're getting into it and you haven't seen my videos on how to fish these slapsticks I'll make sure I'll put them at the end of the video so you can click on those and check out how to rig these slapsticks and then how to fish them as well because they're probably one of the most effective ways to get after those big flathead if you're just getting into it that's the, the spinning outfits, just some of the spinning outfits that I use. And I'll generally use those most of the time. If I'm throwing surface lures or big plastics, then I'm using spinning outfits. But I'm always fishing and throwing a bait casting setup as well. And I'll, I'll show you what I've got in this morning. And this is massive. 
you know like this is a 795 swim baiting rod with a bait casting setup that's got this has like got 12 pound on it but often i'll fish with 20 pound line and i've got a just a shallow diving like a twitch bait jerk bait sort of thing there but this is what i use for throwing big swim baits and glide baits and i've captured some amazing footage in my downloadable video the giant flathead in the shallows video and I've also got some clips on how to fish those on my YouTube channel if you want to check those out I'll put the link in the description below but these massive big swim baiting rods have sort of gained momentum in Australia now because of the barra fishing and cod fishing I suppose but fishing with these much longer and they're pretty heavy rods you can do some damage with really big flathead too and uh, you'll develop the wrists and the arms for it because there can be a lot of casts after these big flathead but this is a super effective way of fishing with glide baits and often because glide baits are a much heavier bait you can't really throw them on spinning outfits especially the bigger ones so something like this is almost eight foot long you need that that heavy size in this like this is a what is it 15 to 30 pound it just seems crazy for flathead, but you're really just trying to cast the lure and use it to present the lure. And that poses some problems if you're fishing with a really heavy rod like this. You kind of have to fish it a bit softer. So when I'm fishing with this big swim baiting rod for flathead, I'm not ripping into the fish and fighting it hard to get it back to the boat. It's a real nuanced approach, I've got to tell you. I'll, I'll share some of the details around that with you, the fight, in a second. But I'll just talk on the reels. This is a... 13 fishing reel um, that I've got my hands on that's actually got nylon like poly uh, bearings in it and the technology behind it is about um, helping you to cast further and I've been fishing it this morning and really you know I've only just started fishing with this thing but boy can I get some distance with this thing compared to you know your regular bait casting reels I, I really think this thing might give you a little bit more of an advantage on the flats it might not have the drag that uh, I love to get out of my Corrados and that sort of thing but what you do have with this thing is a great casting reel that's nice and light so you don't get tired throwing it all day necessarily as, as you would with some other heavy reels but this thing definitely gets you the distance the drag's smooth and you don't really need that high end drag anyway when you're chasing big flathead you actually want to tone it right back and after I set the hooks with a big flathead especially if I'm glide bait fishing or fishing with a surface lure I'll back the drag off and a lot of guys that are getting into this are realizing that you can lose a lot of big flathead because these really big lures they don't actually get them down in their mouths they catch them on the outside of their face around the edge on the top of their head um, and so the hook set isn't isn't a real genuine in the side of the mouth hook set where you can really put some hurt on the fish and get it in you've got to fight these fish uh, knowing that it might not even be in its mouth and I've caught a fair few big flathead mainly because I've run a lighter drag and been able to play the fish out on the flats and then get it in and it's not even hooked in the mouth it's on the outside you know skin hooked 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 underneath so running a lighter drag especially with a heavier rod if you're fishing with heavy rods when that fish turns and runs you don't have the give and the shock absorption through that tip so a lighter drag will help you know just help you get away from popping the hooks out so that's the way that i like to fish these big swim bait rods with a bait casting setup and uh, i'll still get 50 or more meters with this bait casting setup so you know what otherwise you you might go for a spinning outfit for just to get distance these swim baiting rods with a you know good reel and i've used corrados as well i've just started trying this little 13 fishing reel out um, this is an inception reel okay so i've just started trying that i'm pretty happy with this and i'm going to keep fishing with it um, that's how you know how you can use these things for big glide baits and things because they're too heavy to throw on, on basically most spinning outfits. All right, so if you've got some questions on anything else that I haven't mentioned, I've tried to give you some details on this, um, then please put it in the comments. I love the comments and the engagement on my channel and you know the questions you guys ask or if you've got points about how to chase big flathead and what you do, I'd love to hear how you get about it. My suggestion is make sure regardless of what you're doing, you're running a smooth drag 
And if you think it's too tight, just drop it back a touch. It's okay to let these flathead run across the flats and it's really enjoyable to, you know, to have a fight like that where they take off, head across the flats and you get it back and off she goes again. And um, then, then you fight that fish that way. So if you're into your big flathead fishing and want to know some more about how to rig the big slapsticks for big flathead, make sure you click on this video right here. I'll take you through all the details you need to get your big flathead on the slapsticks and get them rigged right so they're swimming properly through the water. And if you want to check out the trailer for my giant flathead in the shallows DVD, check out this video here. Alright, I'll see you soon.